video is sponsored by Dashlane. <sighs> so this is me and this is my dream girl. Excuse me, uh, can you please give it back? Give it back. My heart. Uh, now, yeah, this scene might raise like, a couple couple questions. Like, why am I saying this corny line to a girl? Why am I doing it in front of a Cinnabon? And probably the biggest yet most looked over question, uh, why is there um footage of this? Well, I can't say much yet, but what I can say is that this moment Went horribly. Uh, so bad that I cringe about it to this day. But I'm kind of glad it went that way because I learned a very important lesson. So everyone sit back, grab some popcorn, and watch as I try to redeem myself by reliving these moments with the person I made them with. And along the way, teach all smidged about like toxic masculinity. Uh, anyway, here we go. All right, so way back in the day, I'm talking post ugly, not confident Kurt, which is pre-standard okay, not confident Kurt. I was doing basically what I do now, uh, but for no money. Making YouTube videos mainly about relationships. But instead of them making me look bad in the title and having a good moral overall, they made me look bad and that was it. They made me look bad. And, and to get like a little perspective on what I'm talking about here, our videos range from uh, us talking about how bad people looked to debates about uh, black girls versus white girls, which is as bad as it sounds. <laughs> and I ran it with a good friend, the friend I mentioned at the beginning. That's gonna relive this moment with me in a ways of hopefully redeeming both of us. Vivi, is he here? Yeah, but I don't think he knows that you're watching. Yeah, my good friend Dan- Hold up, Kurt. The weird squidward looking lady said you were gonna have us watch the- The flirting project again. Uh, yeah, that's the whole point. Uh, my boy Dan- Chill! Don't say my real name. I don't want to be associated with this. And I'm not re-watching it. Da Dog, why do you think I brought you on here for? I don't know. I thought you wanted some advice on how to get a real job. So you thought I brought you onto my fake job to get advice on how to get a real job on my fake job. Okay, in hindsight, I probably could have thought that one through a little bit. However, I don't want my real name used and I'm not watching that video. Wait, dog, please, I don't think I could watch it by myself. Please don't, and you're already leaving. You really gonna need that real jab after this. Thanks. Censor my face. Thanks. Little bum of the road, but whatever. Um, and just like with this channel, what that channel reflected ran pretty parallel to my thoughts and maturity level at the time. See, this is during a time in my life where I measured my self-worth by uh, naturally how many girls like me. The only real currency in the toxic masculinity high school. I mean, it was like that because a little beforehand, I was fairly ugly duckling. We're talking like Carlton's uglier cousin, that was me. And then recently I had a glow up, but all the insecurity of Carlton cousin Kurt was still there. So I looked to the homies for guidance. The homies weren't good guidance. <laughs> I mean, the whole culture around that time was, you know what makes you worth? Getting girls. Some real harem type stuff we got going around here. Like if you're not on this Kirito thing, <laughs> and have six different girls after you, you're not really a protagonist. Which probably should have tipped me off that that's not how life works because what alpha male is making Sword Art Online references, you know? And in our pursuit of YouTube fame, we came across the perfect idea. Uh, thanks to a friend who also won't be named because I'm sure he doesn't want to be associated with this either anymore. Either. What if we could pop on YouTube and show that we're desired by people while also disrespecting women? All pros here, no cons in this situation. What it was was essentially a ripoff of, you know, those pickup channels you see on YouTube, specifically one called Sip on Pickup. We'd go pick up girls on like college campuses or go to events and do it, see how many girls' numbers they could get doing the weirdest things. So we thought, yo, why don't we do exactly that, except in a mall, because that's the only thing Ohio has, and we're all underage. I think that idea is perfect. Do we need to think the girls are cute? No. Do we need to like them personality-wise? No. Just get the number, preferably from someone who's probably gonna say yes, and record their reaction and put it on the internet without them knowing. We're good people. Hey girl, you just gave your number to someone you think's moderately attractive. Guess what? They're never gonna text you ever. Cause they're just using your emotions for fake points on the internet. <laughs> Stupid. And okay, look, as wild and as bad intention as the idea is, you gotta admit this is gonna be some pretty fun stuff to watch, okay? <laughs> it's like watching like a bunch of drunk people fight. This is like a really bad thing. They're all probably gonna go to jail, but there's nothing wrong with watching them 
go to jail. That's actually pretty cool. That's fun. So we assemble the team, go to the mall, and make the video. And... Baby, do I seriously have to watch this? What, you're chickening out now? Well, it's gonna be a lot easier. Da Old dude was here, but he left, so I'm like, this is a whole me thing now. What happened to your whole redemption thing? Redemption's such a strong word. Just watch the video. It's the least you can do after being so weird. So, uh, due to my own decisions, I've decided to watch it myself. In a ways to redeem myself, uh, let this pain be for your enjoyment as these girls were. Oh boy, okay. Um, excuse me, but do you happen to have a band-aid? Uh, no. Oh, well, I, I spent money falling for you. Oh! <laughs> All right. No! Excuse me, uh, uh, I lost my number. Can I have yours? I'll so, uh, <laughs> so bad, though! Do you have a band-aid? I don't have a band-aid. Uh, I think I scraped my knee falling for you. Um, Can I have your number? No. Uh, do you have a band-aid? No. Oh, she could not stick by me falling for you. This, I like, I'm physically in pain. I have like, my stomach really genuinely hurts. Can you stop being adorable? <laughs> sure, what's your number? I have a boyfriend. And? Ah! Doesn't mean we can't be friends. Stop it! Bye, you're like 12. Ah! Um, do you have a band-aid? A band-aid? Yeah. Oh my Because I think I scraped my knee falling for you. Ah! Ah. You have a boyfriend? Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, if we're naming things we could cheat on, ah. I have a math test. <laughs> ah. <laughs> no! No! So after everything is all said and done, I'd say, all right, the script here says it's a pretty solid success. All right. I don't know for who though. <laughs> like legit, I'm shaking. I'm like literally shaking after watching that whole thing. But somehow that translated in my brain as like a win. <laughs> I don't know on what planet, but it was a success, I guess. Heavy, heavy air quotes around success uh, for my ego and for the channel. Now the video itself was the best thing we put out on DC Talks at the time and it got the most views. And because of my 50% ratio, which was the best out of everybody, uh, I won the peen measuring contest. Cause 50% is better than like, everyone else. So really going on the curve here. It was a big confidence booster for me, but at the cost of these girls who we never asked if they could be in the video and also who wouldn't hear from us ever again. But it's cool because I'm hype, which is the most important thing. I mean, like it was important to me because this was the first time I had spoken to a girl to start and then got their number in a span of time that wasn't like two years, you know? So like this was a really good for my emotional fragility. And because it was a success on all fronts, you know we had to double dip. Yep, that's right. We did a flirting project part two. We did the whole thing again because if you know a peen measuring contest you can't measure peens just once it's the rules and that's where i think my luck kind of ended up catching up with me. and one specific incident that put my insecurity on blast and before we get into it since i can't fix my insecurity so in the spirit of subverting problems with solutions that fix a completely different problem that just sounds the same let me help fix your online security with dash lane <laughs> i'm sad all right this one goes out to all of you who have a password that's like just five g's in a row like yo someone's gonna catch on to your system dude that five g's thing is gonna kill you faster than actual 5G, you know what I'm saying? And then you've lost what? Your bank accounts, your personal information, and, and probably your self-esteem because I've never met someone happy with themselves after getting their identity stolen. So what's the solution? Probably, probably changing all those passwords. But keeping track of so many is a lot of work. That happens to me all the time. I gotta re-plug in things at least three times every time I log into anywhere, it doesn't matter. But Dashlane is the simple solution. See, it stores all your passwords in one easy, super secure place and auto fills them on all your devices. So passwords, forms, whatever is not a problem. It bridges the gap between laziness and effectiveness. And that's my favorite thing in life. I've been living with Dashlane for like a month now and it's given me like mad infinity Gauntlet vibes. It works across all devices, including Apple products, PC, Android, Safari, and Chrome. It has a secure autofill feature that works for personal information and credit cards, saving you time when shopping online. It's got a VPN to prevent people from tracking and helping you access your content anywhere. And it's got dark web monitoring to see if your information is being bought and sold illegally. And it's discounted. 
So yeah, this is like a tight offer. So really go give it a try and it helps out the show if you do. Just go to dashlane.com forward slash Kurt Ritchie and use my promo code Kurt Ritchie to get 10% off if you want to upgrade to premium. Anyways, back to poor decisions. Finally, the clip that ended it all, the thing that slapped me back to reality. <laughs> so we're walking through the mall doing part two and things are going well. We've got a couple rounds in, I only feel like a little bad. Things are going all right. So we're going through some corridor and I'm looking for my next, well, victim. And out of the corner of my eye, I see this girl. Yo, this girl, like really was like one of the cutest girls I've seen. She checks off everything on my personal list and all my friends peep this too. Like, Kurt, you gotta go, you gotta go talk to her. You gotta do, you gotta do the, the line on her. And I'm like, man, I don't really wanna waste a line on this, like this moment, this beautiful moment with this girl where I could ruin everything. But again, this is for the contest, the peen measuring contest, you have to. So I nod up and I get ready to do it. And it did not turn out well. So I'm gonna walk you through how this went, okay? So essentially what happens when we do this is that you come in with a squad, like a little camera crew to prep making these girls like look like fools and me as well. The cameraman goes in separate from me and then I go in and do the deed. Now the way this was set up, all right, there's like a Cinnabon, there's like three like chairs right there and there's like one back here where it's safe and one up the front where it's not. Now our boy, uh, my boy specifically, my cousin actually, the, bro, you getting disowned. A <laughs> uh, homeboy goes to the one in the front. So his camera's right in front of old girl and also we came in together. So we're not, like the most incognito way of doing this, right? And then it goes like this. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, nothing bad's even happened. I'm just scared. Excuse me, uh, can you please give it back? Give it back. Oh, it's funny, she has to, like, she's smiling. She's smiling, right? And it's all cool. Like we're rolling, it's fine. We're all good. And then there it is, ha ha! She turns and sees the camera. Homeboy was way too close. Now we're in survival mode. Like this is this is uncharted territory. We didn't have any escape plan. There's no escape route. My mind goes blank. All right. <laughs> I feel like I'm a clever dude. Like I usually like not not really clever, but like I can like usually work my way out of situations. Not here. We're actually doing a little something like a little video. See if you guys could get your numbers by saying like the cheesy. I just spill all the beef. Bro, hands in pockets. I'm in the most defensive, like body language position. Like, uh, I, 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 this, is, this is what happened. This is what we're doing. Like, you know when you're like so nervous that you just like keep like like talk. I, this that's me. That's what I did in this situation. I don't understand. <laughs> we're weird people. What? There's a number of phrases that could get me out of this situation. Like, like, you know, like, oh no, we're just here to have fun. Or I could just walk away. Like, we're weird people. <laughs> who, who? I don't want to watch this anymore. Can I get your number one? Eh, creep. So wait, first you're recording and then you're asking me for my number. No, shit. Ah. Yeah. Is this like legit? This is legit. You just called yourself weird, so that's I did! You are quite an intelligent young lady. Ah, really? I'm like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm a weird person. <laughs> what were you saying? How more can you crumble? How further? It's because I knew how bad this was. I'm like, bro, what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> Real people don't do this. No one goes out and about and like actually goes out in front of a Cinnabon to pick up girl. Who's? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to this. You can respond with a yes. All right, all right, half credit. That line was kind of smooth. I was like, I'm at like negative eight, but that took it to a negative 7.5. All right. <laughs> Can we talk about how she walked away and then doubled back to hit me with like, bro, you're terrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're gonna ask me for my number. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Genuinely, I'm sorry. I do think you're right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No she was so cute too. Yeah, I know, I know. Mm. Ah! Like, I'm actually, like, bro, I don't even see, I'm actually shaking. This isn't, I'm not bull crapping right now like oh yeah and what's even better is that when we walked around and i ran into her two times afterward uh that was just um karma i'm done i'm never doing one of these again react channel seemed like a good idea 
terrible idea. We're done. I'm finished. <laughs> you know, post that I was hurt. I didn't want to edit the video for the channel. Much like how I don't want to edit it now. All I wanted to do is curl up in bed and really think about how dumb this all was. I don't know, she really knocked the sense right back into me about how eh, what all we were doing and really how stupid this whole peen measuring contest was. I mean, objectively, picking up girls is, is pretty lame. Like, yo, who goes to the mall to try and pick up girls? Like, instead of like, I don't know, some shoes. I'm not gonna roll to Popeyes and order all biscuits. You know, that's not what we're here for. And you really just look silly doing that in the setting, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know, getting embarrassed like that and then posting it to show like thousands of people. Gotta put things into perspective. Out of that, we never did the flirting project again because my ego was that bruise. I wasn't 100% cure, but it took me in the right direction to just talk about doing bad stuff instead of actually doing it. And it also showed me how stupid approval of my friends for clout with girls was. I mean, look, that thing hurt. Like, I should have self-assurance through normal things, not girls. Else, I'm, I'm probably getting embarrassed. <laughs> oh, what's up, y'all? Yo, it's Hatless Rich here because it's Thanksgiving and um, I like we have people over and I don't have time to be dressed proper. Also, I'm a little tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if you liked that video, be sure to check out my last one. It's about being lonely, and I know a lot about that. I'm recording a YouTube video in a bathroom. Clearly, I am. And if you like that type of video, let me know, because I might do more. In fact, I'm definitely going to do one next week. Specifically, more. you're going to see more of this face. Um, but really, that's about it. I don't really have that much to add this time around, I don't think. But that's really about it, uh, y'all. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, peace. <laughs>